Many times we find ourselves in lonely spaces. There is pressure from all ends and it seems there is nowhere to go. Though you are moving, you are going nowhere. All your solutions and strategies fall far too short. At those times, even prayer sounds empty and God seems so far. But at that time, it is important to know that no matter how the billows roll, God will never change. He is still that God who promised to be there. One songwriter says, He was there all the time. In essence, He is there from the beginning of time up until now, even up until eternity. Mari Hamushanduki, God, you do not change. Tiko Aukukuki. In their separate worlds, they've done amazing things. Now imagine them working together. Here's Everton Mlalaze from Zimbabwe and Bishop Benjamin Dube from South Africa. The world has seen great songs, great music. But where does songs like this one come from? So the beginning of January um, 2021 was um, uh, a very scary time in my life. COVID knocked um, on our doorsteps. And um, in my family, I was the first person who um, contracted the virus. Um, and as we were here at home, it was such a sorry sight because my, my, my wife had to nurse me. We went through COVID-19 and that same time, we lost a lot of beloved friends, family, and a lot of people who were important in our lives. Um, I had to be on oxygen for some time. What also happened is that as I was getting better, my wife also then uh, started also uh, suffering from, from the same because when we thought we were coming out, now I had to also nurse her. We had to talk to our children from a farm. We had no answers for them. They didn't really understand what was going on. Now, the most difficult part about it is that as we were locked up in the room that we stayed in for those plus or minus two months, we began to hear of friends and relatives, um, especially one of my uncles, um, who then couldn't make it because of, uh, because of, of, of the disease. So when I look back and I ask God, why did you keep me? I actually see his hand in our lives. It was such a very difficult time um, that we were asking ourselves, does God still exist? Is he still there? Um, and the moment um, we started getting out of the hoods, that's the time we actually um, say to ourselves, really, you know what, God um, does exist. He has taken us out of the situation and here uh, we are now. Everton Mlalazi is evolving, both as an artist and as a brand. But there is one thing that he hasn't changed so far. His music producer, say Nigel Nyangombe. I've worked with the man on several projects. I think this is my seventh year working with him. I can gladly say that I know him. But the man I experienced this time around on this particular song is totally different. There is a, a fire that was driving him and I, ex I totally experienced a new person in him. At that time, we had projects that we were working on with um, my producer, Mr. Nigel Nyangombe. I always say shout out to him uh, for the wonderful work that um, he does with, uh, with, with us in EM Music. So we, 
at that time, that's when I said to him, uh, my brother, I, I, am, I am compelled that we need to have a song that talks about who God is in our lives and that he does not change. He is not confined um, to time. He is not confined to circumstances. So you cannot say because you are in the valley, he is no longer God. But only when you are in the mountain or only when you are happy, that's when he is God. And that was um, the birth of the song uh, Mari Hamushanduki. There is a serious saturation of the power of God in the song, a chroma which cannot be ignored. When an artist is done extremely well on their own, at times it's hard to understand why a collaboration, why another artist, when you can just do it on your own. Trust me, um, this song, um, I believe, is a, is, is, is a powerful uh, worship song that just reminds us of the Lordship of God. But I also believe that it wouldn't have been where it is now, were it not for the input that we then also got from, from Bishop um, Benjamin Dube. To date, Benjamin Dube has done over 16 albums and innumerable collaborations and productions. His unmistakable voice and highly anointed ministration he has drawn many to God. I, work, I worked with um, uh, Sister Oli on uh, my father's house and um, Sister Loni had brought us together. Um, Sister Loni is, uh, manages um, uh, Bishop Benjamin Dube. So knowing that this was a worship song and my belief um, and uh, even as a team, as I sit down with the manager, my wife, and um, the producer, Mr. Nigel, it, it was so clear that if we needed um, someone who gives the song, you know, the worship vibe that it, it, it really would thrive on, it was so easy to, to, to think of uh, Pastor uh, Benjamin Dube. You know, I was really honored to be working with great musicians on this project. Uh, it was such an honor and we were working more online. Everything was done online. Uh, the band, everyone was tracking recording from their homes. Uh, Everton was doing his leads at home, you know, because of COVID. But, you know, it sounded like we were in one place. You know, thank God for technology. Everything was smooth. The most amazing part of this song is the lyrics. And the song. There's a part that says, Munondi Ruera, you fight my battles. This has stopped to be just mere words, but a reality in our lives. When I look back to what Everton um, was talking about when we got sick, we saw the hand of the Lord. He did fought for us. And we are living testimonies of how the Lord did fight for us when we got sick uh, with COVID-19. Basically, it is a song that is derived from the psalm, uh, Psalms 23, the year I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Uh, meaning to say that um, when I am um, in the presence of God, I do not fear because he is not confined to circumstances. He does not change. He will walk um, with me through it. Confluence of these two great rivers has created one big ocean. Of all the songs I've done with him, I can safely say that on this song, he is on an upward trajectory. The song Mari Hamushanduki is, a, in my view, a prayerful song. So it's a worship song. It's a song a birthed from an experience. And as such, um, to the listener, I would say, if you want to, um, uh, you know, be edified by the song, um, I would suggest that you prayerfully um, listen to the song. Um, not necessarily look for the, the, I mean, the intricacies in the harmonies, the 
the, the, the balance, etc. I mean, all the things that we look for in a song. But just to sit there and prayerfully, uh, uh, you know, receive the song because there is power in the song. That is my belief. I, I really hope that you, you'll be blessed as, as I have been blessed by the song. Things change. People change. Promises change. Circumstances change. Even friends change. But there's only one constant. That is God, who made the heavens and the earth. The creator of the universe is the only constant that has been there since the beginning till the end. May this song always remind us that God does not change. Mwari Hamushanduki. With over 70 years of experience between the two, nothing can beat that. The conflux is an amazing one. Here is Everton Mlalazi featuring Benjamin Dube. Mwari Hamushanduki.